Alrighty, alrighty. How's everyone going? Give me a shout out. I can't. Are, are you going all right? I, I can't hear you. How's everyone doing? That's better. I think we're doing good in the room online. Tell me how you're going on the count of three. And in the room, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then I want you to tell me how you're going, all right? Online, you say it at home, write it in the chat, scream it to your parents in the room or whoever's there. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right, I'm glad you're doing good. I'm also doing good. How are you? Go oh, you guys are good. That's. I'm glad that you are good. All right. Who has seen Dude Perfect before? <laughs> All right. If you haven't, they are a YouTube group and they do incredible trick shots. So I have seen them from like the top of giant buildings lob basketballs into a tiny little basketball hoop. Who's seen that video before? Yeah? The new one? Oh, they've done heaps of them. I've seen them driving in cars and throwing footballs through the window of the car into a goal. How crazy is that? Yeah. Who has anyone done a trick shot before? Yeah? I've done a few. I am really good at throwing M&Ms or Skittles into my mouth from really high. I have had it hit the roof and come into my mouth before. But, but, I don't have them with me and I'm not going to try with an egg because that will end up messy. Um, I was thinking about doing something with an egg, maybe later on. But hands up when you, those who have done a trick shot, who's failed doing it as well too? Who took them more than one go, right? Yeah, sometimes we fail. Sometimes we don't get it right on the first go. I know for me, when I've thrown M&Ms in the air and tried to catch them in my mouth, a lot of times they hit my tooth or they'll hit my forehead or I'll like trip over because I'm looking up in the air and I'm not seeing what's ahead of me. So sometimes when we're focusing on something, we can fall over. But we can say that we're sorry, pick ourselves up and move forward. Now, I want to share with you a story about what happened about six months ago involving these pair of shoes that I am wearing. Hold it up one line. These pair of shoes here, all right? Ooh, they're not that they're not great smelling, so I won't get you to smell it. But these shoes, I was in Melbourne. Who's been to Melbourne before? Right? Yep. Who likes to go shopping in Melbourne? I like to go shopping in Melbourne. And I was in Melbourne at the beginning of this year and I was out there and I was with some friends and they were like, let's go shopping. And I was like, I love that idea. Let's go shopping. So went down, did some shopping. And I found these shoes, and I was like, oh, yes, these are great shoes. I've seen some great shoes. Who has the light-up shoes? I've seen someone that's got light-up shoes here. Oh, Stanford, you've got light-up shoes. Awesome. All right, hands up who's had a pair of light-up shoes before, right? They're really cool, right? Well, I think these shoes, they don't light up, unfortunately, but I really enjoy these shoes. And so I was like, I want them. And so my friend's like, oh, I can get them if you want to pay me back later on. And I didn't have the money on me, so I was like, sweet, all right, I'll just get him, he can pay for it, I can pay for half of it now, and then I'll pay him back the other half when I have the money. So we did it, I got the shoes, I was like, yes, they look so good, they're so comfy, I love it, it's great. Got the shoes, came home, and I showed my wife, I was like, look, I got new shoes, Show, showed her the shoes, and she's like, they're great. And I was like, awesome. A couple months later, my friend was like, hey, you still owe me the money. And I was like, oh, yeah. All right, cool. So then looked at what money I had. And I was like, cool. Yep, got enough money. Sent it off to him. About 10 minutes later, my wife was like, all right, I'm going to do the groceries. Why do we not have enough money for groceries this week in the account? Because I gave the money to my friend to pay him back for the shoes. I didn't even think that what the money was going from because you need money to pay for groceries. If you want to eat food, you need to pay for that food. And I didn't think about that because I was so excited about my shoes and I wanted to pay back my friend. I wanted us to be right there that I made a big mistake with my wife. And I felt horrible. Hands up who's made a mistake and has felt horrible for it before. Yeah? Yeah. 
We've all been in that situation. I felt terrible, not just because I'd have to go hungry that week because we didn't have enough food or money for food. We ended up making it work out. But I was like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry that I wasn't thinking about us when I made this decision. I am so sorry that I've hurt you and hurt us all because of a pair of shoes. And it's just shoes, like shoes are shoes. Like no matter how much they cost, shoes are shoes. If they're cool, like light up shoes, or I think these ones are cool, shoes are shoes, right? But you need food to survive. Like you need to eat so you have energy to play and to do work and to praise God. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. We can't do all these things to the same amount because I've made this mistake. And we've seen today that Peter has done a very similar thing, right? Peter, Peter's best friend was Jesus. And Peter was like, yeah, Jesus, I'm all yours. I'm going to be with you to the end, right? When they were having the Last Supper, Jesus was talking and he's like, yeah, you're going to deny me three times. You're going to ignore me and leave me. And then Peter's like, uh-uh, I'm going to stick with you to the end. I'm, I'm here forever. I'm going to be yours forever. Mm. I'm yours. Yeah, no, I'm sticking by you. And then Jesus goes, gets arrested. And then Peter's like, oh, that was serious. All right, what do I do now? All right, I said I'm going to be with Jesus forever. Okay, but he's gone, so a bit shaken. All right, let's 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 do this. And then people are like, hey, you're Peter. You're, you're friends with Jesus. And he's like, nah, uh no, I'm not. No, I don't. Uh, Jesus? Jesus? Who? What are, you, what are you talking about, huh? And he denies him for one time. Then he's getting a bit cold, goes around a fire. Here's a group of people talking about Jesus. He's like, oh, maybe they understand. They sat down and they're like, oh, you, you're one of his disciples. And Peter's like, no, no, no. What do you want about? You're, you're crazy. You're crazy. No, no, no. And he denies him a second time. Then he goes and sits at the gates and some guards come past and they're like, oh, we saw you with Jesus. He's like, nah, no, you've got it wrong. And then the rooster crows. Can everyone do a rooster crow for me? Yep, the rooster crowed. And then Peter was like, oh, I told Jesus that I wasn't going to do that, but I just did that thing. He made a big mistake. Can you say, "Uh uh-oh, Peter? There you go, "Uh uh-oh, Peter. So he made a big mistake. Then, as we know, Jesus died on the cross, and then three days later, he rose from the dead, and he took away our sins with us for us to be forever friends with him. And then Peter went back to fishing. He was a fisherman, right? Catching fish, cooking fish, eating fish, selling fish, everything a fish fish. And he was just living it up, still thinking, I deny Jesus, I've made this mistake. And then one morning, he sees Jesus on the beach. He's out fishing and he sees Jesus and he's like, this is my chance. I need to say sorry. I need to go back to Jesus. So he like takes off everything and dives into the water and swims back as quick as he can. He didn't have floaties on, so it must have been a bit hard in the water. And he got back to the beach And then he runs up to Jesus and he's like, oh, I've got to say sorry to Jesus. And then Jesus is like, Peter, do you love me? And then he's like, yeah, yeah, Jesus, I love you. And then Jesus asks again, hey, Peter, do you love me? And he's like, of course, of course I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he says it a third time, Peter, do you love me? And then Peter at this time is like, Jesus, of course, uh, you've asked three times now, of course I love you. And in that moment, Jesus forgave Peter for what he had done. Now, similar to us, you know, I made a mistake buying these shoes and not thinking about how much money we had. We've all made mistakes when we've tried to do trick shots. And I'm sure we've all done stuff to hurt our friends or to hurt God. When we've chosen to either go, nah, Jesus, nah, I'm doing my own thing. You know, it says not to steal, but that cookie's looking real good in that jar right now. Or, 
you know, it says not to hurt anyone, but my sibling's being really annoying, so I'm just going to give them one slap. I'm not going to choose your way, Jesus. We've all been there, right? We've made mistakes. I know that I've been there too. But when we choose to be like, okay, we've made a mistake, we've messed up, we can go back to Jesus. Like we saw in our Energizer, the things that sin and the things that keep us from having that loving relationship with Jesus, when we go to Him and say, I'm sorry, we can pull that away and we can fall back into a relationship with Him. I want to share a verse with you, and Jesus tells us many a time that if you love me, you will obey what I command. And Jesus commands us to be sorry and to repent. Now, I want to invite Adam up as I close in my message, but if we are sorry, we can always come back to Jesus because Peter rocked at failing Jesus and we can fail a lot too, regardless if it's a trick shot and we miss the hoop or if we mess up hurting someone and not following what Jesus wants us to do. So I'm going to close in some prayer. So if you can close your eyes, that would be great. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you love us, that you want relationship with us, and that you're willing to forgive us for our mistakes. Lord, we thank you that we can have friendship with you even though we mess up. We thank you that you make us right, you make us whole, and that even when we go, nah, that we can say, I'm sorry, and we can come back to you and be embraced in your love with us all. Lord, I pray over everyone here and online who's listening, mm. keep them safe, help them, Lord, to think about what they have done, mistakes they have made, and ways that they can come back to you and apologize. We just thank you that you are good and you want the best for us. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you.